Shomer Shalom, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to speak on what it is to uh, this perfect love. Um, and I'm going to do it from the Hebrew uh, on the words Ahava Moshalim. Uh, these two words, Ahava, which is love, and Moshalim, which is perfect. Um, well, we need to break them down and figure out what they mean so that we understand what Hashem uh, the creator really wanted or was meant for them to be um, And Ahava love was meant to be the strength of a just an upright man resides within his temple and delivers righteousness and the word perfect Mushalim uh, This word uh, is the waters are secured both by our teaching in the lifting off of your yoke that binds us and being that which is transformed in blood so together we have these two so with the Hava love is to be formed on the inside uh, not that it's given by anybody else the strength of this love of what love is meant to be comes from within side uh, it's what we work on throughout our lives uh, and what we fill up our temple with, uh, if we fill it up with kindness and joy and uh, passion and compassion, then those will be the fruits of our temple. Uh, and that is what's going to be delivered. Uh, and so person who is loving is going to deliver those things that are a blessing to somebody else's life. Uh, the word perfect uh, is a person who is taking the waters uh, and secures them by learning and teaching and in lifting off this yoke uh, those things that are not good in our lives um, and then working towards removing those things out of our temple uh, and filling the temple with good things anything that is binding us or holding us back a, a lie will hold you back um, anything that is not truth uh, that doesn't give off the uh, where you're not happy within um, to be a perfect love you have to be happy with yourself completely uh, you can't have anybody else fill you and if you find yourself being filled by somebody else uh, then you are, are incomplete you have things in your temple that need to be removed uh, love is giving uh, it's you don't you don't take it um, if you need filled and have to take it then uh, you don't have love. Uh, you are being given what from somebody else by sharing. Uh, they're sharing love with you. Uh, and it really does cause a dramatic effect when you are short within yourself and uh, somebody gives that which is a void in your heart um, or in your soul and they fill it and give it. Uh, and that is what... Uh, People run into a lot of problems with uh, they are what uh, scripture sometimes calls uh, unequally yoked um, when you have one person who is transformed within themselves and constantly growing and very joyful and happy and filled their temple with the correct things and then they run into another person who didn't build their temple uh, with the same things and they have uh, um, different qualities uh, some that are not good um, and so you have you have a clash between the two uh, when that happens because one temple is needing something it's not filled um, and one temple is filled the temple that is filled can give 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 um, because they have a perfect love so and the person who carries that perfect love is happy within um, and the one who doesn't, uh, they're not happy with them. They can say that they're happy with themselves, um, uh, but this is all a pseudo or false uh, uh, inner being. They know that these things reside within themselves and they will flare up uh, when running into somebody who has a more perfect love. Um, the world's idea of what perfect is, uh, is that there's no error. Um, and that is incorrect uh, to the Hebrew word Mushalim. Uh, in by that meaning that the person who is transformed by blood is constantly working 
you will know that they're constantly working because you see them filling. They might not have the fullness of kindness, but they are kind. Uh, but you see them growing and doing things that will build this kindness. They will do things that are gentle. They start working on the things that have compassion, uh, being very communal uh, towards their fellow uh, neighbors. Um, then we run into some things when it comes to uh, this idea of two people wanting to have a perfect love. Uh, and there has to be similar likes. Uh, if if one person likes to go fishing and hunting, and these are all the things that built them their perfect love, um, they want to give that back to the person they're with. So they, when they share their love, they know how to share it in the ways that they grew up and were taught and how they removed their yoke. Um, but does not mean that they're not right for you. Uh, it just means that their likes are different. Um, but they are perfectly capable of loving and, and giving a perfect love. Uh, in that sense, they're not that they're not equally yoked as loving people. They are not uh, attracted by their likes. Uh, they will run into frustrations to share the same things with each other. Uh, they have, in other words, they speak a different language of love to each other. Um, and that's where the likes come in. Um but when you find two people that are very close uh, on their likes, um, then there is a growth uh, of character of this perfect love. You can take a perfect love and grow it even further um, and add to your temple, and that solidifies yourself. And you grow by sharing experiences. Uh, so the person who is constantly working to remove their yoke, when they walk with somebody who is perfectly trying to remove their yoke as well, and they have the same likes, then they can walk together uh, and they can and grow and, and transform and they grow the things that are good in the temple that make it a perfect love uh, and give full representation to what Ahava is. Um, then if you have things that go wrong um, in relationships uh, when people are sharing this love, um, there's this pride. Um, it's an independent self reflection where you feel like that your temple is not growing with this person um, and you're not sharing the experiences that have been helping you grow before. Um, and so people withdraw. Their pride kicks in. They're, they're not willing by their self-reflection. They know that these things are not going to add to their life. And they see this separation as being different. They see the differences of where they were and where they are going. Um, but there's a time when this pride, uh, needs to have, uh, and understand if it's just not growing at the same rate, there's a difference of when you forgive, you can forgive the person and to seize a resentment towards them, uh, slowing down your growth or, or not helping you develop the way you need to be, uh, or just more of being an obstruction to, uh, your greater being. Um, and that is an external, uh, issue. So, uh, at the end of a relationship, when there's, uh, differences happening, you have a chance or not a chance to say, but you have a choice to make if you want, before you would end a relationship, there is a difference between giving somebody another opportunity and then giving somebody another chance. Uh, an opportunity is giving somebody a favorable circumstance in which that means is that they get a chance or, or an opportunity to modify uh, the factors that are uh, affecting the relationship. Uh, where a chance is just unpredictable. You, don't, you didn't define why you're going to need a development or, or the different issues. Um, and chances normally fall into the people who have not built their temple uh, in this perfect love and not happy within themselves uh, have to rely on chance because they don't know what it is that they're lacking. Their temple has things that are uh, not good within. Um, so before ending any relationship, uh, if you find yourself giving a chance over an opportunity, then chances are that you need to work on your own temple. But if it's just an opportunity where two things didn't work out uh, and things might have flared up, uh, 
to modify, to offer that favorable circumstance to modify the factors that were uh, causing that. Uh, if the person is a person who has a perfect love and have shared in the similar likes and they have, um, they worked on uh, and they are equally yoked, they're happy within uh, and you have been growing by experiences sharing with them. Um, then at that point, you should probably give the opportunity with this citing the modifying factors. Um, but if you're not happy within and you're not equally yoked, you might want to not try to give a chance to the other person because you need work on yourself. Um, but the idea of a perfect love comes from within. Uh, you can only give what you have. Uh, and you can only share likes and try to match up the best you can with your uh, the, the interest that you have to share experiences to keep on growing that perfect love. Stay strong, everybody. Shomer Shalom.